Hello and welcome to this tutorial which is on bronze cold casting mask finishing. Today we'll be using a standard piece which has been uh, cast using the cold cast bronze method as you can see here. We'll be using just a regular knife, uh, some sandpaper and some double zero 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 or also known as super fine wire wool or steel wool. Uh, this is quite readily available. Um, generally to start with you'll just want to trim the edges just to make sure there's no flashing of course making sure that you carve away from yourself. Personally I prefer using an X-Acto knife which is always smart to lock it in place just to trim off any final parts just to kind of just to give it a more even edging on it. Now the same with is just to go around and give all of the edging just a good sand and even rolling over to the edges just to even them all out because again you don't want any sharp edges especially if you're going to be wearing this or even for on display you may want to even sand the inside of the mask there can be some imperfections as it's just the the nature of the method of how to produce them now what we'll be doing here is we'll be going straight on to the uh, polishing this is the double zero super fine I prefer to um, just start as lightly as possible. The best thing to do is you don't have to put a lot of effort into it. That's, that's kind of the key point. If you're putting too much pressure on, then chances are you're, you're not doing it right. But that's my own personal method. I like just going over the same spot, uh, be it in circular motions, back and forth, whatever really works for the piece. Um, moving it around, stretching it, breaking it apart, that's what works for me you'll see what happens and what will work best for you as you go on. Obviously try and get every single detail that you can going over the edges. I'm just going to show you a back and forth there of the difference so far and that's purely from just using wire wool. What this method actually does is it will really, it will basically take off the top surface layer to show through the true metal effect. This is the same for any kind of metal effects that you'll get, be it aluminium, bronze, brass, copper, iron, steel and so forth. So you can get a lot of really incredible effects. If you have any pieces that are aluminium cast as well in this in this uh, cold casting method, the same is true. You just need to go over it just a few times with some steel wool and uh, you'll get the results that are desired. Now on this bottom piece I wanted to actually show you a test properly of what can be achieved. So I'm just gonna just gonna go through on this and actually give this quite a quite vigorous going over just to give you a kind of a nice half and half just so that you can see exactly what's going on. Now what I'll do in a minute is I'll grab uh, some other pieces so that you can see um, just exactly what will be going on with it and the final effects that you can achieve. Now I turn to use one of these cloths. This is um, metal polish. Uh, you can buy it from most automotive stores or Halfords or wherever you are. It's just a very um, fine grained polish which you can generally pick up every, in, in most places. And just literally buffing it in, getting a nice coating on the surface just to, just to get it all over. As you'll probably see the cloth will start to get extremely dirty fast so make sure you, as you can see switch it around onto cleaner parts because it will take off a lot of dirt and a lot of excess and you can get this to depending on what the finish of your mask is you can get this to a mirror finish piece as you can see this is already shining up really quite nicely so far with only a few only a couple of minutes so far on the clock that's what you can get from it and obviously from there you can add in patinas and other such uh, other such metal or even aging effects. Uh, I believe there's a company called uh, Patina UK or at least if you google for it you can find out what the patina will do is that will age it um, and you can even get that nice green kind of aged look with that as well but that's something I haven't yet ventured into. Um, this is the mask just that's been fully polished up with just the wire wall. There hasn't been any final polishing with the uh, with the metal polish to go on, which is uh, an, a never-ending task because you, at some point you have to say, "Okay, I'm comfortable with that." Otherwise, you could be the, you could just keep going forever and ever and ever.
generally I find the best thing to do is once you start actually polishing around, once you've got most of it worked in, switch to a cleaner cloth or just to a cleaner section and then just go back around and just kind of clean off the excess yet again. The more times you keep doing this, the better of a finish you're going to get, or at least that's my personal experience. Um, if anyone has any better experiences or better methods, feel free to chime in. And there's the finished piece. It actually looks a little silver now that I look at it, but this is the bronze effect. There we go. Um, you can obviously now from this point, you can add on extra painting effects. If you want to add on your patina, this would probably now be the time. And um, if there are any questions or comments, let me know.